Hi guys! Thank you so much for coming back again and it's day 3 and today we'll be all about Crested Butte, exploring Crested Butte and seeing the wildflowers and come join with us. Now we are heading towards um, Jude Falls and it was around 20 or 20 minutes or half an hour of drive from the hostel that we were staying in Crested Butte. When we were there in Crested Butte, we also came to know that the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory was located in Crested Butte and um, this research center has a lot of researchers who research on wildflowers that grow during the summertime in Crested Butte and uh, they, spend, they spend months and months researching about these wildflowers and preserving the area just for these wildflowers and we really really appreciate their hard work and dedication. So we have started hiking for Jude Falls and it's about a mile of hike but it's all uphill so it will be tough while we go there, but it will be very easy when we get back. Finally, we are here at Jude Falls.
So when we were there at the research property, we saw the leaves. The plants have really、um, shiny and polished leaves. They were not actually、um, watered or anything, but it was just naturally very shiny.、Um, we were not sure the reason why, but it was really good to see、um, a healthy plant. So we're done with the hike, and、uh, we're back in the parking lot, almost there, and、um, taking some videos and pictures before we leave. Jia bari ma ho, jia bari ma. Sa de uri nil haru lai, sa de na 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 nil haru lai. Kun khushi a jano lo bhayo, pehli yo mere jia bari ma. So after Jude Falls,、um, my sister actually planned to go to the Kepler Pass, which is around 20 minutes drive from Jude Falls. We parked a lot from Jude Falls, and um, this um, pass was really, really beautiful because you'll see a lot of wildflowers here. Then we saw it on our way to Jude Falls. So after we were done with the beautiful Kevlar Pass, we decided to park our car and stay there for a while. And meanwhile, we met this lady who had just finished her hike from coming down from、um, Emerald Lake, which was just、um, half a mile from there where we parked our car. And we also decided、um, to go up there because that was our last day, and we didn't want to miss anything. We are really glad that we. Made that decision and went up there to see Lake Emerald because on our way to that lake we saw so many wildflowers that we'd never seen before, and、uh, we captured everything on our camera so that we can go back and look at the videos and pictures. So after that quick hike, we are finally here at Lake Emerald, and this lake was very beautiful. It was, it was so beautiful. It was really small, but it was really beautiful because it had so many flowers around. I wasn't able to keep the audio while I was filming this video because it was really windy at that time. And、uh, when I was trying to、um, edit the video, I couldn't keep it because it was really、um, noisy and disturbing. And I thought maybe、um, my listeners or whoever is watching this video might get annoyed by that windy、um, noise behind. So that's why I was I added this voiceover.
temperature of the water was really really cold but my sister still wanted to go inside so after the hike we came down to our hostel and then we relaxed for some time and then we decided to stroll the town again because it was our last day and um, we were not sure when will we be back to so we're here at the secret stash place and it's very popular for pizza so this pizza place the secret stash um, was not just cool for pizza but also awesome for the interior because it was like decorated with multicultural styles with the pictures of gods that we worship in our country back in Nepal and also a rickshaw ride which I didn't expect at all and it was really um, exciting to see all those kind of stuffs inside a restaurant. Finally, our pizza is here and this was the most delicious pizza I've ever tried in my life. And um, unfortunately, this is the only location they have in um, Fusted Butte, Elk Avenue. And the pizza was really big and it was really good. So we left the hostel around 6 a.m. in the morning so that we could get there um, in Texas around 8.30. Meanwhile, my sister lost her sunglasses and she's checking um, back at the hostel to see if they found it, which they did. Okay, that would be great. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Bye.